Dear Kristen Chenoweth, Stop, stop tweeting, tweeting your location. location. Oh my god. How, how, how does she even think that that's okay? You're so famous. Look, you are mainstream now. You're really famous. You're, You're in, in magazines. Glee. You're in magazines. You have an Emmy Award. Yeah. People know who you are, and, uh -huh. like, a lot of people... How many people follow Kristen Chenoweth on the Twitter? I mean, people outside of the Broadway community who, who don't know etiquette... If you live in New York, you're used to seeing Broadway stars, yeah. especially around the Times Square area. Mm -hmm. You know, going to shows, coming from shows, doing rehearsals. You're used to it. You know the protocol. Perhaps if they're not busy, you may say something. Yeah. But generally, you just get excited about it and you move <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. But, like, do you think Beyonce tweets her location? No. Do you think... Beyonce has bodyguards. Yeah. I mean... Do you think... I can't, I mean, I, the only thing I can think of is, like, Lance Bass sometimes tweets about places he goes in the city, in New yeah. York, but it's always the day after. He'll yeah, be like, yeah, yesterday yeah. I was at this place. Mm -hmm. Kristen Chenoweth, you tweet like, I was just at this Starbucks on 57th and 8th. Literally the other day, you're like, just love my favorite Starbucks, thanks Erica. And also... <laughs> But because I'm a smart person, and I know that you're in a show, and that was on a Sunday, and you tweeted that at, like, 2 o'clock, your show's at 3, now people know, Kristen Chenoweth goes to Starbucks before, before her, her performances. Show. They're, that, that, that Starbucks is gonna be full of fangirls from now on, forever. Yeah. Full of fangirls. Every day when you go there. You're never gonna get peace. It's not gonna be your favorite Starbucks anymore. Yeah. And leave those Starbucks people alone. <laughs> And stop tweeting on Ambien. Yeah. Chill. We're just worried about you, girl. We're really worried about you. You have 200,000 followers. <laughs> and you told them all where you were. <laughs> There's over 200,000 people who know where you are. Oh, that is hilarious. There's a lot of people. Like, there are, I like, 170 people follow me, and I don't tell them where I am. Me either. I have, like, probably about, the, I have a few more followers. I have, like, you know... I think I have like 240 yeah, yeah, yeah. followers. I don't tell them where I am. No. No. And I'm not famous. No. You're really famous. You're famous. Jenna. You're on the number one credit. show in America. Yeah. You know how many people bought Wicked the album? Millions. Millions of people still. Something on Playbill the other day. Wicked is still like the highest selling cast recording. Today. Really? Today. Still. A lot of people know who she is. You're very tiny. Yeah. And people could just take off with you. Yeah. If they look at you from behind, they might think you're their kid or something. Mm. They'll be like, oh. You only weigh 100 pounds or less. I could, just, I could pick you up. Right? And put you in my backpack and take you home with me. And, and if you oh, were yelling, no. people would just be like, oh, it sounds so nice. Because <laughs> it'd be well supported. Exactly. You know. You're too famous to tweet your location. You can't Careful. do it. Careful. Especially in New York. Especially in New York. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. It's dangerous. This is New York City. In New York City. People do crazy shit. Think of the crazy people that come to the stage yeah. door. And they're separated from you by a barricade. And you have a bodyguard. I mean, I don't know, maybe you have your bodyguard with you all the time when you go to Starbucks, but like... You gotta be careful. 